Looking for an anime where the main character is overpowered but hides his power? Look no further, your search ends here. Usually an overpowered character is flashy and may display their immense strength or skill in the open. However there are many overpowered characters who do not want to show their powers and prefer to stay low ranked. In today's video I'll show you the top 10 anime where the main character is low ranked but is actually overpowered. If you enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe. This is ES Anime and now, let's start the list. At number 10 we have Goblin Slayer. Goblins are known for their ferocity, cunning, and rapid reproduction, but their reputation as the lowliest of monsters causes their threat to be overlooked. Raiding rural civilizations to kidnap females of other species for breeding, these vile creatures are free to continue their onslaught as adventurers turn a blind eye in favor of more rewarding assignments with larger bounties. To commemorate her first day as a porcelain-ranked adventurer, the 15-year-old priestess joins a band of young, enthusiastic rookies to investigate a tribe of goblins responsible for the disappearance of several village women. Unprepared and inexperienced, the group soon faces its inevitable demise from an ambush while exploring a cave. With no one else left standing, the terrified priestess accepts her fate, until the goblin slayer unexpectedly appears to not only rescue her with little effort, but destroy the entire goblin nest. As a holder of the prestigious silver rank, the goblin slayer allows her to accompany him as he assists the adventurer's guild in all goblin-related matters. Together with the priestess, high elf, dwarf, and lizard man, the armored warrior will not rest until every single goblin in the frontier lands has been eradicated for good. At number 9 we have Assassination Classroom. When a mysterious creature chops the moon down to a permanent crescent, the students of Class 3E of Kunijigoka Middle School find themselves confronted with an enormous task. Assassinate the creature responsible for the disaster before Earth suffers a similar fate. However, the monster, dubbed Koro Sensei, the indestructible teacher, is able to fly at speeds of up to Mach 20, which he demonstrates freely, leaving any attempt to subdue him in his extraterrestrial dust. Furthermore, the misfits of 3E soon find that the strange, tentacled beast is more than just indomitable, he is the best teacher they have ever had. Adapted from the humorous hit manga by Yusei Matsui, Ansatsu Kaiushitsu tells the story of these junior high pupils as they polish their assassination skills and grow in order to stand strong against the oppressive school system, their own life problems, and one day, Koro Sensei. At number 8 we have Noragami. In times of need, if you look in the right place, you just may see a strange telephone number scrawled in red. If you call this number, you will hear a young man introduce himself as the Yato God. Yato is a minor deity and a self-proclaimed delivery god, who dreams of having millions of worshippers. Without a single shrine dedicated to his name, however, his goals are far from being realized. He spends his days doing odd jobs for 5 yen apiece, until his weapon partner becomes fed up with her useless master and deserts him. Just as things seem to be looking grim for the god, his fortune changes when a middle school girl, Hayori Iki, supposedly saves Yato from a car accident, taking the hit for him. Remarkably, she survives, but the event has caused her soul to become loose and hence able to leave her body. Hayori demands that Yato return her to normal, but upon learning that he needs a new partner to do so, reluctantly agrees to help him find one. And with Hayori's help, Yato's luck may finally be turning around. At number 7 we have Chrome Shelled Regios. In a post-apocalyptic world overrun with mutated beasts called Limbikun or Filth Monsters, humanity is forced to live in large mobile cities called Regios and learn to use special weapons called Dite, by harnessing the power of K to defend themselves. In the academy city of Zuna, Leifon Alsaif is hoping to start a new life and forget his past. However, his past has caught the attention of Karian Loss, the manipulative student council president and Nina Antok, a military arts student and captain of the 17th Military Arts Platoon, who instantly recognizes his abilities and decides he's the perfect candidate to join her group. However, with a secret past that won't leave him alone and unknown powers beyond normal, Leifon just might not take it. At number 6 we have Trigun. Vosh the Stampede is the man with a $60 billion bounty on his head. The reason? He's a merciless villain who lays waste to all those that oppose him and flattens entire cities for fun, garnering him the title, the Humanoid Typhoon. 
He leaves a trail of death and destruction wherever he goes, and anyone can count themselves dead if they so much as make eye contact, or so the rumors say. In actuality, Vosh is a huge softy who claims to have never taken a life and avoids violence at all costs. With his crazy donut obsession and buffoonish attitude in tow, Vosh traverses the wasteland of the planet Gunsmoke, all the while followed by two insurance agents, Meryl Strife and Millie Thompson, who attempt to minimize his impact on the public. But soon, their misadventures evolve into life or death situations as a group of legendary assassins are summoned to bring about suffering to the trio. Vosh's agonizing past will be unraveled and his morality and principles pushed to the breaking point. At number 5 we have Deadman Wonderland. It looked like it would be a normal day for Ganta Igarashi and his classmates, they were preparing to go on a class field trip to a certain prison amusement park called Deadman Wonderland, where the convicts perform dangerous acts for the onlookers amusement. However, Ganta's life is quickly turned upside down when his whole class gets massacred by a mysterious man in red. Framed for the incident and sentenced to death, Ganta is sent to the very jail he was supposed to visit. But Ganta's nightmare is only just beginning. The young protagonist is thrown into a world of sadistic inmates and enigmatic powers, to live in constant fear of the lethal collar placed around his neck that is slowed only by winning in the prison's deathly games. Ganta must bet his life to survive in a ruthless place where it isn't always easy to tell friend from foe, all while trying to find the mysterious Red Man and clear his name in Dead Man Wonderland. At number 4 we have Classroom of the Elite. On the surface, Kudo Aikusei Senior High School is a utopia. The students enjoy an unparalleled amount of freedom, and it is ranked highly in Japan. However, the reality is less than ideal. Four classes, A through D, are ranked in order of merit, and only the top classes receive favorable treatment. Kiyotaka Ayanokoji is a student of class D, where the school dumps its worst. There he meets the unsociable Suzune Horikita, who believes she was placed in class D by mistake and desires to climb all the way to class A, and the seemingly amicable class idol Kikyu Kushida, whose aim is to make as many friends as possible. While class membership is permanent, class rankings are not, Students in lower-ranked classes can rise in rankings if they score better than those in the top ones. Additionally, in Class D, there are no bars on what methods can be used to get ahead. In this cutthroat school, can they prevail against the odds and reach the top? At number 3 we have Bungo Stray Dogs. For weeks, Atsushi Nakajima's orphanage has been plagued by a mystical tiger that only he seems to be aware of. Suspected to be behind the strange incidents, the 18-year-old is abruptly kicked out of the orphanage and left hungry, homeless, and wandering through the city. While starving on a riverbank, Atsushi saves a rather eccentric man named Osamu Dazai from drowning. Whimsical suicide enthusiast and supernatural detective, Dazai has been investigating the same tiger that has been terrorizing the boy. Together with Dazai's partner Dopo Kunikita, they solve the mystery, but its resolution leaves Atsushi in a tight spot. As various odd events take place, Atsushi is coerced into joining their firm of supernatural investigators, taking on unusual cases the police cannot handle, alongside his numerous enigmatic co-workers. At number 2 we have the disastrous life of Seiki K. To the average person, psychic abilities might seem a blessing. For Kusuo Seiki, however, this couldn't be further from the truth. Gifted with a wide assortment of supernatural abilities ranging from telepathy to X-ray vision, he finds this so-called blessing to be nothing but a curse. As all the inconveniences his powers cause constantly pile up, all Kusuo aims for is an ordinary, hassle-free life, a life where ignorance is bliss. Unfortunately, the life of a psychic is far from quiet. Though Kusuo tries to stay out of the spotlight by keeping his powers a secret from his classmates, he ends up inadvertently attracting the attention of many odd characters, such as the empty-headed Riki Nendu and the delusional Shun Kaidu. Forced to deal with the craziness of the people around him, Kusuo comes to learn that the ordinary life he has been striving for is a lot more difficult to achieve than expected. At number 1 we have One Punch Man. The seemingly ordinary and unimpressive Saitama has a rather unique hobby, being a hero. In order to pursue his childhood dream, he trained relentlessly for three years, and lost all of his hair in the process. Now, Saitama is incredibly powerful, so much so that no enemy is able to defeat him in battle. 
In fact, all it takes to defeat evildoers with just one punch has led to an unexpected problem. He is no longer able to enjoy the thrill of battling and has become quite bored. This all changes with the arrival of Genos, a 19-year-old cyborg, who wishes to be Saitama's disciple after seeing what he is capable of. Genos proposes that the two join the Hero Association in order to become certified heroes that will be recognized for their positive contributions to society, and Saitama, shocked that no one knows who he is, quickly agrees. And thus begins the story of One Punch Man, an action comedy that follows an eccentric individual who longs to fight strong enemies that can hopefully give him the excitement he once felt and just maybe, he'll become popular in the process. Well, that's it for the list. If you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also check out my other videos. Bye.